Budgets are political documents. They pretty much state what our values are, what we believe in, uh, how do we look at the state of the economy in America. Budgets are, they have a, a heartbeat, they have a pulse. And uh, part of the problem uh, in developing a fair and transparent budget that reflects uh, the condition of America, hunger in America, people's inability to pay rent in America, the struggles of working families in America, is the fact that many of my colleagues in Congress are millionaires. And so as a result, they are unable to penetrate the, and, and reach out of the bubble and see what the American people are going through on a daily basis. And so, for example, the child tax credit program was referred to here as an entitlement. $2,000 for a 17-year-old or under, that results to $166.66 a month for a mom. Is that going to break our back? That's something that we cannot do for somebody that maybe is on a hunger line trying to feed their families. The earned income tax credit for poor families that are making on the $59,000 a year, just a little push so they could maybe buy Pampers, milk, and maybe be able not to fall back on their rent. Is that going to break our backs? And so we propose a, a commission here. Some folk calls that, call that the paralysis of analysis. America is smart. They read through stuff. You know what they say out there, those that cannot go outside of the bubble because they just have so much money in their bank accounts that they don't have a clear vision? You want to kill a good idea? Build a commission. You want to stop innovativeness? Give it to a task force. You want to have deep cuts that cut to the bone like they try to do this year? Study it. Create a study group. This year we had an agreement between uh, the leader of our house and, and the president. Some of us felt that they usurped appropriators like myself that constitutionally have the power of the purse. And that wasn't enough. They broke the agreement and they came here and they wanted to cut it to the bone. That mom that wants $166.66 per month through a child tax credit, they wanted to cut what some of you call entitlements to the bones. Now, revenue. Revenue is at the center of this because the Trump tax cut benefited the very wealthy, the very rich, not the police officer, not the teacher, not the civil servant, the very rich. That's an entitlement, a corporate entitlement. And that's right at the core, and it's not talked about, debt and deficit. So.